everyone, this is Gail from Pretty Presets, and today I'm here helping Amy answer a few Manic Monday questions. We had Susan Yates ask a question about split toning. She wanted to know when, why, and how you might use it. So today I'm going to just share um, a little bit about the split tone panel and how you use it and why you might use it and what it does. So the split tone panel is found in the develop module on the right side. It's about halfway down. It's about the middle panel. And basically, the split tone panel adds a color tone to your photo. Um, it's divided into a few sections, so let's just talk about what the sections do. Here we've got the highlights. The highlights is where you're going to add a color to the highlights. So really simple. You're going to use the hue slider to decide what color you're going to add to the highlights, or you can just click here on this color. I'll, I'll show you that in just a minute. The shadow section, or excuse me, and the saturation is going to help you determine exactly how much of that hue is showing in your highlights. So if you want it to be more saturated in the highlights, you would want to adjust it higher. If you want it to be less saturated, you would adjust it lower. The same thing is going to go for the shadows. The shadows, you're going to choose a hue to add to the shadows. You can choose how saturated that color is down here. And the balance tool that's here in the middle is basically going to decide how balanced the two tones are. If it's set here at zero, they're going to be equally balanced. That you will be able to see the color in the shadows just as much as you see the color in the highlights. However, if I drag it over here to the right, this would give more preference to the highlights and I will be able to see the highlights more than I see the shadows and then the opposite would be true if I drag it down here to the negative. So I'm going to reset that. I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to click on highlights. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to choose a color. And you can see as soon as I clicked on that, we added a kind of this yellowy warm tone. Now I can adjust my saturation right here while I've got this open. These numbers are going to match. So I'm going to be adjusting the saturation here, but I could also adjust it over here and they will be exactly the same. So let's close out of that. Then let's add a color to our shadows. We're going to add a cooler tone to our shadows just so you can really obviously see it. We can adjust the saturation a little bit. And now the balance, I'm going to show you what happens when I adjust my balance. If I drag it up to the top, you're going to see more of that warm tone show through. If I drag it down to the bottom, you're going to see more of the blue tone that we added to the shadows show through. And if I move it to zero, you're going to see that they're more equally balanced. You're going to see some of the blue tones here in the shadows. You can see how it's adding a little bit of blue to the shadows. There's a little bit of blueness in the eyes here. But you're going to also see that there's more warmth added to the highlights here in the skin. The skin's going to be one of the big highlights and the white on the animals as well. So that's how the split tone panel works. Now we have lots of presets that use the split toning panel. For instance, if I come up here and I click on the Clean and Creative set has several tones added to it. Um, let's say I click on cherries. You'll see that that adds kind of a pink tone. And you'll see that my split toning um, sliders changed a whole bunch over here. So if I'll I can just come over here. I'm going to remove that from my history and show you that the before I added the cherries. Now watch my sliders over here. This is after I added the cherries and you can see that they moved. So if I wanted to adjust the effect that the cherries preset was giving me, this is where I would do it. It's a split tone and this is where I would do it. If I wanted to add a little bit more of the redness that's in the the highlights and if I add, wanted to see a little bit more of the green coolness that's in the shadows I would adjust it here. So anyway that hopefully that helps you understand the split toning panel just split toning panel just a little bit better and we'll see you later.